hey, 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 how is everyone doing? Um, yeah, so we're back and we are just in the process of kind of cleaning this area out. I just went ahead and did a little bit more kind of uh, planning and zoning out here. So we're just kind of cleaning up this area here, getting rid of any excess walls that we have. Now that we have this building actually uh, mostly built for the most part. Um, and we kind of got rid of all the parole rooms that were over here and we got rid of this classroom here. I'm planning on actually converting this into the library itself. Um, just to give us a little bit more kind of use of this area out here as well. I don't think I'm going to really change anything for this. I will probably uh, leave these buildings as be and maybe actually even extend some of these out just a bit to give them just a little bit more room and so we can make use of all the space that we do actually have here as well. And I did finally get rid of this water pump and move it back over here. So it looks like we were just through a riot but it's been fixed which is great. There's a couple of things that we do need to in consideration right now which is the fact that we are running short on prison um, cell areas. So that's going to be one of the biggest kind of concerns that we're going to have moving forward. I'm going to go ahead and actually zone up the rest of this yard here. So this is all just going to be one really, really large yard. And I think that's going to be the best uh, case scenario for us now. Um, there we go. So there we go. So now we have this full kind of yard for the entire inmates and all the inmates to really uh, use. And it's going to be great for them. Hopefully it'll help us in terms of not having as many riots and not having as many issues going on here as well. And so you can see we've really started to build out this side of the prison and we're slowly starting to kind of fill in the gaps and everywhere that we had previously had. And eventually I will probably want to get rid of these dorms. I'm not too sure yet how we're going to get this done, but it is something that I am interested in, uh, in doing. So yeah, I hope you guys have been having a great time going through the series. Feel free to leave comments uh, whenever you guys want to. And if there's anything, I will try my best to read as much as I can um, and make any changes that I can make for the next series once we do get, or for the next season, if we ever do get to the next season. Um, that's of course dependent on you know you guys uh, you guys reaction to this series and how you guys uh, want the rest of this you know these kind of series to go. I could theoretically sell this prison and start a new, start fresh, and that'd be one way to do it. We'd start with definitely a lot more money to begin with, so we can have kind of the we won't have to have as much of the kind of concern about money that we did have in this. Uh, throughout this entire series where we've slowly just been kind of uh, more hamstrung by the amount of money that we actually do have. So those are some thoughts that I have in terms of the future of this kind of this type of a uh, this type of series and I will try my best in the future to release full seasons at a time. It was something that I originally wanted to do. It's it definitely puts a lot of strain on me and a lot more work in the beginning, but I think it pays off better because then there's no waiting and there's no kind of really uh, kind of downtime in between episodes. And uh, there's a lot of content that I am releasing all at once, so it gives you guys kind of the opportunity to watch it as you want. There's no you know worries about you know the next season not happening, not sure what's going on, things like that. Um, and I think it'll be a good kind of start uh, or a good kind of a good way to release content. Uh, of course, I will still also be doing kind of more one off kind of content, uh, things like more of the escape mode that we are actually uh, for this kind of game that we're looking into. And I would be really interested in actually doing as well. And I don't know why they're all just packing up around here. Maybe we should actually go ahead and zone a couple more tables in here, throw just a couple more tables for these guys to get in. I'm going to go ahead and actually concrete yard all of this uh, just so we can kind of have that set in stone. And then the other thing I want to do is go ahead and I'm thinking I might actually get rid of this door since it doesn't seem to be really doing much. Since this guy, these guys are already separated here. And yeah, so this definitely helped alleviate some of the issues here with this yard, but I don't know why they're all just kind of congregating in one corner of the building or of the yard. That is definitely something of concern for us. I'm going to go ahead and actually put in a guard tower since we do have these towers still just kind of chilling around. And I'm going to go ahead and place several in here um, just so we can kind of get 
a a good use of our snipers that we have up there as well and our workers are now coming through and cleaning up or adding in the concrete here which is great um, I'm gonna go ahead and demolish I just saw this wall right here yeah so the MO of this episode will probably be actually to get the library in and then we're gonna get this advanced prisoners needs and then we're gonna actually look into finishing up some more grants as well as really kind of just filling in the gaps here of the remaining prison um, and we almost have a full kind of circle area and depending on how we are and how you know how the series goes we might actually continue this on and keep going in terms of the rest of the series in terms of actually having more prisoners uh, and you know expanding the land that we have to build with and just kind of working like that I think that's actually something that I would be really interested in looking in, or in, into doing and the more I really kind of look into this the more I think it will be a, a useful step for us I'm gonna go ahead and finish this so that will be the final kind of boundary here and then we should be getting a pretty decent amount of boundaries I think the most of this is now filled up and I do apologize if I sound a little a little tired it is uh, quite late at night today. This is the first time I'm doing a late night kind of um, recording session uh, like this. Uh, but I thought it would be good and it's kind of a, a good use of my time right now. So I'm not really doing anything early tomorrow. Uh, I do want to actually get through and get this parole rebuilt. So we're going to go ahead and clone, or this door can no longer be here because of that. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that door there, dismantle this door, and then we're gonna get some planning done here. Uh, we do have these walls that I'm planning on building. Go ahead and replace that door there, and then build in this wall here, like so. Uh, I do wanna add in one more capacitor here, two more capacitors might as well. We're gonna go ahead and do a staff door here. So the question is, what are we gonna build with this area here? We have essentially this kind of zone, about this big, right here and we can also fit one more room down here as well uh, we could do easily do maybe another office um, it was the accounting office but it was relatively small which was a concern for us um, going down the line there and then we also do have this portion of the area which we haven't built out yet I'm actually going to go ahead and do some quick building of the uh, cells here since we are we are in need of a couple more cells uh, there we go get the whole actually let's just get the whole uh, six by six block in here uh, and then just go ahead and build right on through like so uh, I think we actually well, we cannot fit this right in there which is a little bit disappointing uh, I wonder we could definitely do one more like so and we just have this space here now that we can also kind of make use of um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. Uh, I wanna leave almost like a, a path in between these cells for people to walk through during when they're trying to get to the yard. So I think this is going to be the best thing we could do. Let's go ahead and zone a couple more cells just going right through here like this. And this will give us a lot more room to work with like so and there we go that was, so that uses up a lot of the money that we had previously had and this canteen is definitely over packed so we're going to want to probably get a new canteen actually now that everything is one building I'm curious how the food distribution works can I actually separate things into foods all these guys are coming here all of these guys solitary is going to the nerd whoa um well, family cells have to go to the nursery that's fine the dorms maybe will this these dorms will go over here for now uh, and then we'll slowly kind of get rid of these dorms here as well I'm planning on doing and then maybe we can actually make this canteen itself a little bit bigger and stretch it out all the way through this area here since it doesn't seem like we're gonna be really using this area um, that's a thought I think we will actually might do that uh, I don't want to actually run into the chapel area though since the chapel area is working fine for what we're interested in doing I just saw that this light is no longer fulfilling it and we just spent a lot of money on getting tasers. I think that's because my guards just passed a taser class. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, we're going to go on building the library now. We're going to focus on that for a little bit. 
just because I really want to get that extra 15k and that'll help us out a lot. So we just need a library shelf and some sorting desk. Uh, we are at a negative uh, balance right now so we can't do much but we can actually look. So the library shelves are 250 and the sorting desk is 100 and I am curious if we do deployment and, or logistics and do prison labor uh, I don't know. I think it's the library desk or this. No, let me actually check. So we go programs. We can go into uh, where is it? Uh, where is it? There was nope. I guess not. Okay. Well, interesting. I may have misremembered, but that should definitely help us out. We do have our guards now. Uh, posted around the yard which is actually really great and we are starting to get this positive balance. We have a relatively pretty uh, pretty good daily cash flow uh, which is able to hold us over in between kind of days while we're waiting for the influx of prisoners for com uh, to come in. Um, but we are a little bit short in terms of actual supply uh, of cells but I think I don't know if that in court accounts the actual cells that we have here that have been built but aren't actually fully cells yet. Um, and we do need to put in some water. It looks like they, I don't have any, any utilities going through here. Um, curious. So it is looking that. So it looks like our capacity is increasing every single time one of these cells actually gets built, which is great. The one concern right now, though, is that we just don't have um, we don't have the, the money to really pay for the utilities uh, for these cells. Yeah, it's going to be quite some time before we get enough utilities. Actually, um, we might be able to do it right now. Go ahead and do that and get the small pipes in here. Like so. And we can slowly kind of build up everything here. And then this small pipe is pretty easy. It's just every other one. So it looks like I'm actually be able to pipe everything right now. Interesting. Okay, so this one is a little bit offset. So we're gonna wait for that one to be built before we actually go through and get it done. Uh, but we do need to do some electrical work. Um, and I think the most logical electrical work will actually be going through here. I'm gonna go ahead and build it through here and go ahead and increase the speeds just a little bit to get us a little bit more money quickly. Uh, and we're almost over capacity, which is great. We just got the next wave of money. Um, so we can go ahead and finish up that extension there. Uh, let's see. And oh, we have a call from the doctor. What is it? We've been getting reports of sickness from a number of prisoners. It might be worth identifying and quarantining the affected to stop it from spreading. How do I do that? Oh, wow. We have a virus outbreak. That is an interesting thing. I don't know how to actually do that, though. How do we identify the ones that are infected well I guess we're about to find out they're probably gonna all get sick if there's even one person infected in here everybody in here is going to get infected that's that's just gonna be great that's that is just wonderful absolutely freaking wonderful uh, let me see actually really quickly if I do an object I believe it's hard to see there we go we can maybe do a wall I'm thinking we could do it just do a wall like that and get in one another four tables plus benches uh, there won't be any space to really go around it but that leaves this kind of corridor open for us which is actually a, a better um, setup for us so I'm gonna go ahead and actually spend some money and get that done uh, but then going back down to here um, because I do need to focus on getting this as well I'm gonna go ahead and get this built like so and then we're gonna probably want to add in a couple of metal detectors throughout this entire area as we get through um, just to help out with the actual discovery of contraband since now that we have this one entire kind of prison area it's going to be much harder to prevent prisoners from shaking each other if they wanted to. Um, so one of the things we could do is just kind of crack down a little bit heavier on the actual contraband uh, that we're, that's, a, that's being allowed throughout the prison 
here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that last piping right there. And that should be more than enough. So that should be all the piping for this area. Uh, and I believe it's connected to, yeah, it's connected to a pipe. So we're good there. Um, and then the only thing we really need to do now is with 28, oh, we have a lot of deaths. Oh, shoot. Um, there is a fire. There's a fire. It is burned into the cook. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Um, um, um. Go ahead and do some emergency. Let's go ahead and get a fire engine, two fire engines in here. And we're going to go ahead and have them come through and clear this area up as soon as possible. This is why we probably should have had sprinklers. I think this is the second time that this kitchen has caught on fire. Um, but can we please get moving really quickly? There we go. Our guards or our firefighters are coming through uh, and hopefully they'll be able to contain this. The power station looks like what caused the issue. So I'm actually gonna, now with this in mind, I'm probably gonna go through and actually add some more sprinklers in. I think this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good kind of signal to us that we should probably get a couple more uh, sprinklers throughout. So our prison is on fire. These guard, these firefighters are finally clearing that, which is great. At the very least, we are able to kind of contain the fire. I believe this was actually the exact same place of the original fire last time too. So interesting how there's been two fires now that have broken out in this building. Um, but that one fire did take out this power damage, which is or this power station, which is extremely, extremely uh, bad. And it did kill a lot of the families who are still in here. Um, that being said, I think I'm, this, we might be able to turn this into something good. Um, I might be able to actually turn this into something good in the sense that we could probably actually then get rid of the rest of these family cells and relocate them like I was originally planning on doing. And that should free up some space here as well. Uh, I know it's not exactly the best uh, thing we do, but we're going to make the best out of a bad situation that we have. But these firefighters are just doing their job. They're doing great, actually. I'm going to go ahead and let them go since they did seem to clear out the fire pretty quickly. That's great. Um, we're just going to have to, have to clean this area up now, essentially is what it is, and get rid of some of these family zones. So I'm going to go ahead and undo these rooms here. And we need to get this power station up as soon as possible though, which is the biggest issue because this power station does handle this solitary and the rest of these areas here. Um, it wasn't too bad. It didn't affect us too poorly, uh, but it did definitely hurt us a bit in terms of money. And I'm gonna go ahead and demolish that wall there, demolish that wall there. And we're eventually gonna fill this area in and we'll demolish those walls as well. But demolish that wall right there is too. Yeah, so you know we're making some progress. It's unfortunate that this power station was damaged, and we can't really afford to fix it right now. Until our cash flow comes through, we're not going to be able to do much. Uh, but hopefully, we will be able to get through some more. We have 78 prisoners now infected. Um, we also want to consider getting more doctors, since our doctor right now is kind of low. We only have 10 doctors to serve the entire population, and it is increasing to 79 now. I don't know how it's possible for us to quarantine people. Uh, maybe we can go to regime and do more lockup. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this to medium and medium. And then, I just, I really don't know how I'm going to deal with the quarantine portion of this. Because it is increasing, it's definitely increasing. Um, and our doctors don't seem to be really doing much. They're just kind of chilling around. I don't know if there's any way for us to actually stop this from happening. We can't even afford to fix this right now, which is even worse. Uh, and I'm just gonna have to wait around until I can get enough cash flow. There we go. We got the repair done. Since this is kind of urgent for us to repair, we'll, uh, I can't actually make this urgent though. So we're just gonna have to let it sit there. Um, yeah quite unfortunate if i do say so myself i'm gonna go ahead and dismantle this and dismantle these probably replace these as well um, but let's hopefully get this done soon 
We have more deaths. I don't know why everyone's going around. Oh, it's because this door is, un is locked. Um, that's fine. So we are repairing the, repair the, the power station, which is great. Unfortunately, it was damaged 100%. So basically, the power station is the reason. Um, and I don't know. Maybe we had some capacitors. We did not. Uh, but that should get us some more kind of work here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and demolish these walls over here and start clearing this area. Dismantle all these objects and clearing this area. Uh, and just kind of working our way through and, and, and actually uh, emptying this place and turning it into... I don't know what I'm going to make it yet, uh, but hopefully it'll be something useful for us uh, that we've been kind of hurting for. I'm going to go ahead and leave these lights here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we do have quite a few things here. Looks like some of the utilities did get burned throughout this, and this is just such a mess of things right now that I can't even I can't even actually understand what everything is. Uh, but what I do know is that this hot water piping probably does not need to be here anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle these utilities just right through here, and that should cover almost all the utilities. And then we're just going to slowly kind of rebuild the utilities from scratch here, since you know this this is it, this this fire has also given us the opportunity to really kind of just rebuild everything and really look into you know how we are designing our our station here. Um, without losing too much money, which is actually good for us since we are short on cash. And I believe these have not been chosen to be dismantled. Interesting. I did miss those doors there. So those doors are now being dismantled, which is great. This area is now going to be free and clear, which is great. Uh, and then we're going to actually probably finish up this so we can have people not walking outside anymore to get to the to get inside the jail and the jail and we do not have enough money to finish this up which is unfortunate oh there is a riot also looks like a riot in the showers well I'm gonna go ahead and call the riot police before things get way out of hand and everyone's gonna have to come here uh, and we're gonna do maybe a shakedown not a shakedown and then free fire so free fire is now open, so my my guys can also kill people as needed. Uh, we're definitely going to have a lot more deaths today, but if we get these guns out, I think we'll be able to subdue the riot much faster. And the riot police are hopefully on the scene. They're coming on the scene right now. It looks like they. I don't know how they're going to. Oh, they're going to enter through here. Uh, we definitely have a lot more deaths. Oh, there's just there's just a lot of things happening right now. A lot of things happening. Yeah, there's I don't there's just this bloody. You know, the my own armed guards are coming through and just shooting people like crazy. We killed a lot of prisoners today. Wow. Wow. Okay, and the death tolls keep rising. They just keep rising. I'm sorry, Charlie Moss. You died. You you know you asked for it. You only had a good you know 12 years left on your life on your on your sentence. But you know, unfortunately, you decided that it was good to riot. So yeah. That's your fault. That's your own fault. No one else can be blamed except for you. Wow. Yeah, that was just that was just a very very bloody and grotesque uh, kind of battle that we had there. Wow. Um, I'm pretty sure that was the single most the single deadliest day that we have had in this prison by far, uh, by very very far. Um, and actually, I think this area has now been built. So we're going to go ahead and demolish from these walls and make it easier for our inmates to walk through this area as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a brick wall. Oh, we did not finish. Actually, I just saw that we did not get this area here. But I believe that's actually going to be the last of the areas that we need to really work on in that area. That small area right there too. And we can go ahead and maybe brick wall this and dismantle this. And this should give us a fully, a fully complete room. Oh, we have another thing. Oh, another event from the CEO. Yesterday was a very dark day. Make sure nobody else dies today, or we will face prosecution. Oh shoot. Okay. 
that is pretty intense. So we we may be on the verge of prosecution for criminal criminal negligence. I'm gonna go ahead and save the prison here. I hope you guys understand why I would do that. Just to you know make sure that we don't accidentally lose the game. Um, and I will try my best. I'll turn off free fire. So we're definitely gonna have off on free fire. Um, I wish there was an option for us to tell our guards not to kill people. Uh, and then we're just gonna have a bang up all day. I think will be the best thing. Just, just we'll try to get through this day with just a bang up. I think that's going to be the mo for today. Uh, and I'm realizing now that this area is not lit up. So at the very least, we can actually add back this electrical, uh, and then we can kind of connect this area here. And we will probably want to power that that little power station as well. Uh, and I believe the water has been left unaffected, which is fine. Oh, but there are radiators in here. We can go ahead and dismantle these radiators. And that should do us wonders there. Go ahead and demolish the rest of this wall here. Like so. Let's close up that brick wall immediately since that is an opening in the actual building. And now we should have a fully closed area. I'm just really, really concerned here. Please, please do not kill the prisoners. Please, please, please do not kill the prisoners. I, I cannot afford to kill the prisoners right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and demolish these walls here and add in our tables and benches uh, once we have this wall demolished here. Like so. And we can get our benches in. And we just need this one extra wall here to finish up the benches. And that'll be an additional couple benches here. We're gonna go ahead and increase that on the rooms. And like, where is the canteen? I am, am I completely blind? There's the canteen. Okay, so we have the additional portion of the canteen there. <sighs> These dorms are not exactly filled right now, which is actually good for us. We might be able to just cancel this dorm right here and then just start getting rid of that area. I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this wall, these walls here, and dismantle all of these objects actually. And you can see actually this really helps us out because um, we get a lot more stuff into the actual inventory. So we don't have to spend as much money when we're rebuilding extra things. Um, we're just gonna have a ton of bunk beds really is what's gonna happen. But you can see here, we actually managed to get a decent amount of stuff. And you know, I could actually opt for selling all of this actually. And that would actually probably be more cost effective for us. Uh, but it is what it is. It is something that we've already kind of decided on. I'm going to go ahead and finish up lighting this area here. Uh, and I believe I do also need to actually add in a pipe for the water. Um, but yeah, we did lose, it looks like we lost some capacity here, uh, but this is going great. So we have finally emptied out this area. Um, so we actually have a pretty decent amount of space to work with here now. Uh, whatever we want to end up doing with it would be pretty cool uh, to, to do. I think we're actually going to probably make either some more offices or maybe actually just leave some more dorms back here for the minimum security people, uh, since they don't seem to need as much um, looking over we're looking after as a maximum security person might. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually clone a couple of these family centers or cells just to give the families a little bit more space in this prison since they do seem to be hurting for space. I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this wall. I'm gonna have to cut into the nursery it looks like and uh, but I think it'll be worth it. We're gonna go ahead and cut into the nursery since the nursery doesn't seem to be actually need to have be this big here. 
Um, so we're just going to do a lot of rerouting for the the family portion of this area. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unzone this nursery here. Yeah, so that fire, we're going to take advantage of it and make use of the kind of rebuilding area here. And I'm thinking we probably will have to actually get this land expansion. This land expansion is going to cost us 80000 um, to expand that way, but I think it will honestly be worth it considering, I don't know, how many prisoners we're aiming for, which is almost a thousand. Yeah, it's going to be probably the best thing for us to do, and we're definitely short on electricity. So what I guess we could do is run right through, run on some electricity right through. Actually, no, let's go ahead and just run the electricity through more of a, of a kind of standard area. Go ahead and finish the toilets for these guys. There we go. And that should be great there. We're still cleaning up this mess. That's how many people died that day. Oh, and finally, we really, really, really want to get back to this library. Oh, so we're going to go ahead and put, uh, I think maybe it might be worth to put in, where should we put in the sorting desk? We could put two sorting desks back here. We're going to go ahead and put two sorting desks back here and then put in a library shelf. Uh, these library shelves can just go straight up against this wall like so, and then a couple more like so, and then it might be worth to do probably a, two more rows like so. So it's actually a pretty big library if I do say so myself. And this, I don't know if it's the sorting shelves or the sorting desks that, that define how many jobs we can give or the actual shelves themselves, but this should be a pretty good um, Pretty pretty large space for us to work with. Yeah, we do also have now this new space here, and then we're eventually going to probably get rid of this solitary and this solitary and re kind of position everything. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of work, but I think it's going to be worth it. Yeah, I'm just you know going through and making sure everything's in tip-top shape. And it looks like it. it. Looks like we're about to get electricity finally to this area of the of the, of the facility, which is great. We do have some injured guards, and I don't think we have enough doctors, which is going to be kind of an issue. We might actually rezone this water boiler and move it back a bit. Yeah, and then we do need to refinish up all this parole back here. Um, oh, okay, so that was a concern for us. The working condition cannot be, so it looks like we actually placed this the wrong way. Um, that's, that was just a dumb mistake of ours. And now it was too crowded for us to actually place these the correct way. So I think it is, I cannot tell because of this stupid box. Oh. Well, I, let's try to do this first and then maybe, so this is with the calculator facing out. You're no longer complaining, which is great. Um, and then, oh, there we go. I can dismantle this and rebuild this actually now, which is great too. There we go. And then go ahead and rebuild that. It looks like this is the proper direction. And then we now have a library now we just need to do the workers, so that's just one, two, three. There we go. Great. Okay. Our viral outbreak doesn't seem to actually have passed to the rest of the prison. I don't know what happened or how that was controlled, but it seemed to be fine. Uh, we do need to consider more laundry, um, and we do want to probably increase the size of these classrooms as well. Uh, but I think the biggest priority for us right now is going to be actually getting this parole area rebuilt in the proper fashion. 
Um, let's go ahead and actually do some more planning here. I think we could actually, if we wanted to do one more parole office there, two, three, four, like so. And this parole office is then just going to be kind of stuck there. We can maybe do, actually, you know, we are flexible in terms of this export area. So we can get a couple more parole things out here, uh, like so. That might actually do us wonders here. We can be able to, we're, we're able to kind of condense everything down um, like that. And then maybe we can even just do one office here. We can do like a small office here as well. Or maybe even just another cleaning cupboard. I like that idea. So there's a lot more, there's a lot of brick walls going around. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and I was going to finish the episode here, but I'm going to go ahead and build this because there's so many things going on that I'm going to forget if I don't build it right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that actually. And get this foundation done in here like so. And then get these brick walls built like so. And demolish these, this wall in the middle here. Add in a couple of doors where they need to be like so. And then I'm going to get visitor tables, which is what the prisoners need for parole in as well. And then so this will help us get rid of this. We're going to go ahead and unzone the exports that was here. So unzone the exports and then the garbage is probably going to have to be unzoned as well. Like that. And this should give us um, some pretty good space to work with for the rest of the thing. So we had another death today. Oh shoot, who died? Where? Uh, killed by cards for being guards. For be really guards? Like today is not the day for you guys to be lashing out at you know people we are on you know we are being checked for criminal negligence uh, for all the deaths in our actual facility and you guys decide to lash out against a cop killer oh boy can you guys just work with me for once there's a riot happening there's a riot happening we're gonna go ahead and lock down um, and stop this riot in its tracks and try to minimize the amount of damage that we have. Where is this riot happening? I can't even tell. All the prisoners are mostly in their cells. But that means it should be relatively easy for us to call this riot. It looks like it's going to be easy for us to call this riot. It doesn't look like it's too severe. There's just a couple of inmates running around. Um, Yeah, okay, so the wire is quelled. We're gonna go ahead and undo the lockdown now. Uh, and I'm gonna lift the bang up after after sleep is set up. But for now, since we don't really have that luxury, uh, because like I said, we are on trial, I do not want to lose this game right now. Um, let me go ahead and actually add in a staff door here and finish up the brick wall here. Like so, uh, I believe I'm going to need to dismantle this and we're going to want to add in some lights probably. I think I might have taken out the lights by accident. So we're going to go ahead and add some lights in here to each parole room and then get our visitor table, visitor table in. Can we? No, not yet. But that's fine. Um, and then we're probably going to actually want to just light up some, some of this here and then put in the final parole zone which is, if I could find it, I'm just I'm completely blind today. There we go, parole. So we'll be able to hopefully get a lot more prisoners paroled a lot faster now that we have six parole rooms. Um, I haven't figured out what to do here yet, but we're gonna make this room, I know for sure, a cupboard, a cleaning cupboard, um, since there's not much that we need to do for that room there. Uh, and that'll help us in terms of that. And then once we get these parole rooms set up, we can go ahead. Uh, there's another riot. 
or lockdown. We're gonna do lockdown. And we can do a couple more. I will probably lift the bang up, but the lockdown needs to happen. I don't even know where this is happening. This riot is happening. Everyone is locked down. How are you guys rioting if everyone is locking yourselves? It is increasing though. Uh, I think the lockdown is going to be important for us to handle. Shoot, we're down to two deaths. Come on, just subdue them, but don't kill them, please. I would prefer if you guys did that. We're not even halfway through the day, and we're at two deaths now. Um, but the lockdown, I think, is definitely helping to quell everybody. At least I hope, since no one can actually get out. And it's at least minimizing the, the damage that we're getting here. Um, I would open this door if y'all would stop. I'm running next to it. Okay, I think our riot should be able to be quelled. No, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. I am going to, however, go ahead and add in my visitor desk here. And then go back into programs and add the opportunity for parole through everything. I think that's the, all the number of paroles that we actually have. And I will lift the the lockdown now, and that should quell the riot. There we go. So it looks like everyone quelled the riot. We have had two deaths now today, and it's only halfway through the day. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Like oh boy. This I am so freaking worried that we are not going to make this. And that is going to be the worst reason for not successfully beating or not successfully you know making it through the series I think we might actually just add the rest of this as the yard since there's just not much we could really do there we can actually go ahead and dismantle this since that's just up there for no reason yeah the MO is basically just to maximize the amount of or the usage of every single place that we do have here already uh, right, so this area we definitely are going to need to rezone. In these solitary we can probably rezone as well. Um, and then we do have a lot more money, so I'm going to go ahead and actually clone in some more jail cells since we are always at a shortage for jail cells apparently. Uh, this is a bad example. There we go. I don't want to have keep having to do the um, the alternating toilets, so we're just going to go ahead and do this at a much slower pace. Like so. But this should definitely give us a decent amount of cells to work with. Like so. And that will give us an additional couple more cells to work with, which is actually great for us since we are about to take in another 60, oh my god, 61 prisoners. That's a lot. Hmm. Thinking we can actually probably get rid of these two rooms and extend the canteen over here on this side here too. And then the security room seems kind of out of place, just in the middle of the building. Could deploy a couple of people everywhere. Hmm. I believe we have actually created a building in almost every single area here. Yes, so we have. All right, so we are definitely making some pretty decent progress. We just want to slowly get rid of these dorms here and then we maybe build this canteen 
and do all of these kind of things. And so you can see the, the, the prison is really starting to come together. It's, it's gone through a lot uh, of work. I will have to admit that that has been, you know, more so than I wanted. We've kind of redefined the, the way that this prison works multiple times now. Um, but I think it's worked out pretty well for us.